Hi there Brick Builders, today we got the Earth, Moon and Sun Ori by JK Brickworks. It's on Rebrickable for free, it's the 4477 and in this case we got a package, a brick package from Ufoy who are giving you a brick package and a foldable instruction set. I don't know if it's identical to JK Brickworks but it's there. UFOI calls it the C182 and it consists of 471 pieces. If you want to download the instructions for yourself, there are links in the description here and there's also a link to the JK Brickworks homepage which will we see some of this content later. But first things first, let's have a look at the box. On the front there is a picture of the set, on the back there is a picture of the solar system, all the planets in there with the brick built sun inside, but, but the rest of the planets are just pictures. So nothing too amazing here. So going on to the instruction set, there the problems start here. I don't know if it is uh, JK Brickworks who did all that and they just copied it or if UFOI already or also did something here that made it worse. For example, JK Brickworks had in mind the all the round tiles in the bottom there to have different colors here just like you like to see it. In this case, they put them in in gold but in the instructions they are yellow just like the sun but in the instructions they got the same color but the sun still is yellow not golden. There are also cogs appearing and disappearing in the steps of the instructions. There are also missing pieces in the parts list for each step and all that good stuff. There are appearing and disappearing bricks there and there are a lot of problems with these instructions. There are a lot of errors simply on there. The instructions do have 30 pages and 117 steps. So let's have a look at the set itself. It's a mixture from Technic and normal bricks and it's rather unusual like most of the things JK Brickworks does. It is used by hand, there's no motors inside here. Some say you should do that but in the end I... <laughs> You will see I tested it and it's running a bit too fast without a, another gearing here and so you have to do it a bit more in the sophisticated way not like just sticking a motor on that gear and call it a day. Here we also have the links or the website from Rebrickable where this set is uh, shown in the original. There's also a download link there and of course there's also a website for JK Brickworks who is responsible for this thing so his website is in here also. The bricks themselves, I don't know which producer this was. I doubt that UFOI really produces their own bricks according to the clutch power and the fact that there are no numbers and also nothing on the studs itself. I would guess it is Kunlong who produced these bricks. Speaking about the clutch power, it is not the same for everything. Some things do hold together at all. Others are on the opposite range there and it's especially hard to put the Technic beats together since there are a lot of gears here and they all have to really match up and run freely to have the transmission which the earth is spinning there and far away from the power source. That's a bit of a tough call for all those gears there to be in perfect sync and it's a bit hard to turn that thing even if you have done everything to put the thing together as smooth as could be. Here we got the leftover parts, there's nothing big there except for the 2x3 plates which were in a special bag since there are so many of them building the sun. Just opening the set, 
It's a rather good looking and easy to open box. Inside there are bags, there are six bags, but don't think that you got steps there or you got assemblies, something like that. Now you open all those bags, these are zip bags, so you can reclose them. That's good to use them for something else. But you will need from day one on all the bags or all the in in stuff that is inside of those bags. But since this is 471 pieces, that is not a big problem here. You will also find the brick separator and the instructions. As you might have already seen, I also tried the variant with the motor on there. This made the earth spin rather fast there. I used a battery box from Mold King with the remote there and the thing managed to drain that accumulator in there fully loaded in one rotation in one year of this simulated world there. So it's rather hard on the gearing there. It's not easy easy and the pieces are really really used there and you have to be careful not to spin that too hard. The quality of the pieces in general is okay. Maybe for this mock it's not the best quality you can get. I heard that you can have also this mock in a Kada version. Maybe the pieces there are better. I worked with Kada pieces recently. I don't know if that is true. But the set will hold together you won't need glue or something like that. You have to be careful how to position all the gears there. This is the same with every other technique or more complicated technique set. And don't get me wrong, this one is complicated. You got a lot of gears, you got a lot of transmission -y things and you really need a bit of experience to put this thing together and of course to make it work. So. <laughs> Putting a 6 plus on the box here is a bit of a joke. Maybe, maybe if somebody is really experienced, 12 or older of course. And don't forget you have to be interested in the topic. This is not a car, this is not a truck, this is astronomy and you have to be interested in it to build it, to have the conscience and the passion to do that. So it's really not something for a little kid. And therefore it's also nothing to play with except you count turning the wheel there as playing it. But it's mainly something for a shelf, it's for display purposes, it's to talk about it, maybe it's even to explain how the solar system works, that's up on you, but it's nothing to really play with. It also strikes me hard to put this thing for parts, since there are so many different pieces in there. The only thing that is uh, more often is the 3x2 plate, but that's it in this case, and there is technique, there is normal pieces. And and there is no odd colors there, that's a plus, but I don't know if it's really something for parts to collect. But that's it for another video. If you've liked what you've seen, please press the like button. If you didn't like what you've seen, please comment me that. And if you really want to have this or something like this every week, please subscribe. So have fun building, have fun watching, and see you.